What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Hello, hello. Welcome to some Battlefield Hardline Conquest gameplay. We have a really fun game for you guys to watch. We're going to go run around, get some kills with my HK-51, put some C4s on my motorcycle, and then fly the attack helicopter. So it's all, all fun. A lot of shenanigans in this gameplay. I had a good time. But this is going to be my official review. The gloves are off. Will Battlefield pass the test that White Boy 7 Street gives it? A lot of people have been requesting that I do a official review on Battlefield Hardline, at least the multiplayer portion. And that's what I'm doing here today. That's what you're listening to and watching and smelling. So this is my official review for Battlefield Hardline. And we did break this down on the podcast show. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast. We just started. Wings of Redemption, Eddie the Chump, Jive Turkey. Those are uh, some hardcore Battlefield players. So if you want a more in-depth 40-minute discussion where we break everything down, check out episode 8 of the podcast show. But my thoughts and my opinions on Battlefield Hardline. Uh, you should keep this in mind that this video is sponsored by EA Ronku. But that's not changing anything for me. I failed horribly right there. I set that up so perfectly and I didn't have my C4 Exploder Mariser ready to go, ready to have some fun and that was my fault. But that's okay because the Rogue Chopper is about to respawn and if I didn't die there, I wouldn't have got in my chopper. Get to the top, oh. So, yeah, like I said, keep in mind that I'm sponsored by EA, but that doesn't change anything. Maybe it does, but I just wanted to disclose that so everything's above board. So, I like Hardline a lot. I like how fast it is. I like how fun the game is. The game is a lot of fun to play, and I think that's because they made it a lot more fast-paced and a lot more action-packed, and I like that. I like that a lot about Hardline. They just increased the the pace of the game and i think that was well needed for the battlefield franchise and i think they did a good job of that uh, in team deathmatch the spawns are a little crazy it's a little too fast in team deathmatch but i like what they did in the other game types blood money is a, a great game mode they have a, a bunch of those in hardline now lots of fun in uh, a lot of different game types now the maps i don't like the maps in particular this map just because it's so dusty and i know this map is named dust bowl i get it but a lot of the maps are really really dusty and they just have this look to it that i don't appreciate too much the graphics are a little less than battlefield 4 i feel like personally but i don't notice it too much it doesn't bother me too much i mean we're playing on next generation the graphics look pretty sweet to me i know it could get better on pc but for me personally i think the graphics are just fine it looks good besides some of the maps i don't like the amount of customization that your characters have uh, in battlefield 4 it seemed like there was a lot more options on the table but the gameplay, I think, is the most important. And like I said, it feels good. It feels responsive, fast-paced. There is a little net coat issue. There's a lot of little issues to the game, but we all remember, or maybe you guys forgot, In your, I would have put it deep, deep in my brain what happened to Battlefield 4 on launch. It wasn't the smoothest launch, and I think Hardline did a way, way better job of doing that now this is a little awkward moment there are two cops in the same car looking at each other shooting at each other that was a little awkward moment right there but I think Hardline was good and it's easy to point out little complaints that you have and that's what a lot of reviews are but the overall feeling I believe that it's a good game I said on the podcast show it was a 9 out of 10 maybe that's a little high but it's an 8 out of 10, and I would buy it. I played it a lot this last week, and I got my money's worth already this week. And I expect to continue to play Hardline into the future and see it expand, see the new game types, see the new maps, see the new weapons that they always expand now on first-person shooters. That's one of the good things about uh, gaming on Next Generation. It seems like 
they they rush to release a game like this game feels like it was a little rushed but they did delay it but i f still feel like it was a little rushed that this was originally gonna be a dlc but they're like how about not how about we sell a full copy of this and it kind of feels like that it feels really similar to battlefield 4 but i know it is in the battlefield franchise but at the end of the day when it's all said and done i think it's a good game i think it's a lot of fun i know that it's a lot of fun because i've been playing it all freaking week and i think it's worth the money but i also feel like they could have did a lot better of a job and i really do enjoy this cop versus robbers aspect to it the game kind of makes fun of itself it's really silly when when the characters talk to each other and the little voice call outs and they like flip off the cops i think that it's freaking hilarious and the little things like that make the game a lot better and it goes a long way so my overall review to sum it all up i think it's a good game i think they could have did a better job they could have put a little bit more elbow grease into this game but i think it's fun and i'm going to continue to play it and if you guys can buy five video games a year i think this would be one of those fives and i think they did a great job releasing it at the time that they did when call of duty is on uh, probably the lowest point in its uh, career at this point i think they capitalized that uh th that timing really good and look at this squad wipe down the steadiness of my gyroscopter makes the shots go straight and my teammate and me combined uh wipe that squad and pick up a nice quad kill i do really enjoy the little evolutions that they do have in this game it was a lot more epic on battlefield 4 but i think the evolution caused a lot of the lag problems at the beginning of the launch because when we went to battlefield 4 uh for ronk like this ronku thing that i'm with uh, with EA, um, they had a lot of issues when there was a levolution. Like, we would wait for the ship to come crashing onto the yard, and what happened was every time the ship would be ready to be released to the, to the shore, uh, the game would crash, and it was very frustrating. But they worked it out, and I think the launch so far of Hardline is good. So that's my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And I hope you got some insight to my insight on Battlefield Hardline. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.